Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode, I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, we'll talk about uh, anime fanzines, but the difference this time around is I'm going to take uh, a, a relatively recent one and just compare some of the aspects of, that I see in the recent one uh, compared to an older one. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll just do a quick course and just some comments and reviews of the actual newsletter, all right? So before I begin, I want to remind everyone to go down below, click like, and click subscribe. Uh, definitely that, uh, you know, if you just gonna click the like, it definitely helps the uh, YouTube algorithm work and, uh, and, you know, do its magic. Uh, again, if you want to support me, uh, financially, I also have the super thanks button uh, down below, so that you can click on that button, as well as I have uh, links for PayPal and uh, Patreon. Now, for anyone who does do uh, uh, any sort of donations or it goes to the subscription, um, I also have a whole set of uh, episodes uh, that are dedicated uh, specifically for you with people there. So there contains a lot of content that I just can't put onto YouTube. Um, I just recently put a uh, name, uh, uh, historical name that tune uh, sort of anime uh, contest that I had at uh, the, one of the uh, anime conventions here. I managed to find the files and so I managed to recreate that uh, contest uh, here uh, online uh, so that you guys can give it a try and see how well you score. Okay, can't put that on YouTube here, but I can definitely do it on, on the uh, subscriber channel, so do check that out. Uh, the links are below, so if you want to have a look and see what kind of episodes there are and what kind of content there is, definitely go by and see that. As well as in that same file, you can also see all the various episodes that we have. I have now over uh, 280 episodes of the History of Fan Anime. You can go back and check those episodes out to see, you know, if you if you want to look at other contents pertaining to fanzines, um, you know, newsletters, fan mail, and that kind of stuff. Uh, you can definitely go back and check those out. Links and that kind of stuff are all in there. And they're all sort of, um, sort of as you know, like a book. So all the similar topics are grouped together. So it makes it really easy for you to just. Um, you know, binge watch just those particular episodes again because the YouTube algorithm is really poor in searching and finding episodes. Uh, you know, pertaining that uh, you know, for my, for me, so I have a total separate uh, database for that. Uh, just help you guys out. All right, so do check that out. Okay, so today's episode, um, we're talking about fanzines. Okay, so normally, um, you know, you saw in a previous episode, I have uh, you know talked about uh, my old fanzine that I used to have, which is called Prototype. Uh, it's called Prototype, okay? You can just see that kind of shares the same font as a new type magazine. And again, uh, this is what this is a very um, you know important sort of uh, you know newsletter that uh, we used to have in the in the past that um, kept track of you know what we're doing in the club, uh, some new information uh, allowed basically members to basically submit uh, articles and uh, tell different things, uh, you know, about synopses about the shows or, you know, have little jokes and that kind of stuff in it as well. And so that was very important piece of information. Okay. The difference in this episode is I'm going to also, uh, excuse me, got these ones here. Um, these are, uh, a, a fanzine that's relatively recent. Okay. This is, um, uh, May, 2023. And this is June, the second issue. I should have done that to read. Uh, for this uh, newsletter called the Genesis Pit, and uh, the Genesis Pit is uh, the uh, fanzine for the Super Dimensional Anime Club and the SDAC01B Genesis uh, fan club. Okay, and it has various different uh, articles and other stuff. So I'm going to go through these uh, uh, as well and sort of do comparisons to uh, what we used to do and in, 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 in the, you know my own uh, fanzine from the, from the past. Okay, and just sort of see um, you know. If it really truly really brings back that newsletter sort of feel that uh, that you'd normally have from from these uh, fanzines, okay? So, before without further delay, let's begin and have a look at these magazines, all right? Okay, so we start with volume one of the Genesis Pit here, and again, uh, this is the official fanzine of the Super Dimensional Anime Club and the uh, SDAC01. Um, B Genesis, which is probably is the San Diego Anime Club. Okay, so you know, again, uh, general, uh, you know, front page they use as a fan art. Uh, it's nice that they have like a mecha girl here, which is uh, you know, kind of a personification of uh, uh, you know, like a Gundam girl or a Yuna type of thing, right? Which is uh, it was, was really popular. I'll probably have to make an episode about you know, personification, uh, um, you know, 
uh, animes and that kind of stuff that, that, that came out. So that's probably another episode I'll have to do. Um, lots of, uh, you know, clip uh, kind of uh, artwork that uh, is used because, again, um, you know, even at our time, it was, it was a little difficult because, um, you know, the photocopier was probably our favorite uh, tool that we used. Um, and uh, we made lots of photocopies and made lots of clips of these particular real pictures and that kind of stuff out of magazines and that kind of stuff and put them in there. Um, obviously, nowadays, it's easier to do with, uh, you know, desktop publishing, uh, you know, much easier to, to, to work with those. But again, we had to photocopy a lot of those a lot of the time, okay? Um, so this one contains a table of contents that definitely does have a lot of different things. Again, another sort of, a, you know, uh, uh, picture that, that was, uh, you know, taken out of a magazine and whatnot. And then, of course, they've used, uh, you know, obviously uh, some, you know, Photoshop or whatever to put actual lettering on there. Again, in, in, the, in, the, in the old days, you you know, we didn't have that ability. We, we, we actually had to put the fonts outside or actually had to, you know, to draw them, you know, extruderly. So that's that. Okay. So a nice uh, message from the, uh, you know, the, the editor type of thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's an ex explanation of the actual uh, uh, personification of the Gundam girl type of thing. This is a... Uh, Lieutenant Valkyra, okay, so obviously this is a, a mixture of a, of a Val, it's a Valkyrie girl, basically, a Roman Valkyrie girl, okay. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, like like most things that, that these newsletters do, is they will inform the members when the next sort of events are happening. So this is this is this kind of a section here, which tells you that the, the, the upcoming, uh, um, uh, uh, those anime re uh, recon parties uh, on Discord, as well as, uh, you know, so they're doing anime watching on Discord, so that's cool. And then um, the, all the various different links, okay? So obviously now in the modern day, this is how you, you contact these people uh, via, um, you know, Facebook and, and YouTube and Twitter and, and their own website and that kind of stuff all available here uh, for the members so that they can know where, when and where to get kind of stuff like that, okay? Uh, let's see, we have a club member profile, so I guess everyone's sort of given themselves different sort of, uh, um, uh, you know, you know, what, what uh, sort of, uh, you know, um, they, they pick a particular member, I guess, and then they, they ask them various questions about, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, their experience with anime, um, you know, um, you know how they fit in, in into you know, what they what they got started and that kind of stuff, which is always good because you know that, that gives um, you know people other sort of uh, perspectives about the, what they're kind of, again it's, it's content right so that's, uh, you know that kind of stuff. Um, we also have uh, fanfic by men. so fan fiction is usually really pretty popular because um, you know in fanzines like this uh, two things are really really important uh, fan art and fan fiction right because obviously fan fiction is a, is a type of uh, you know content that is generated by the members and that kind of stuff uh, and whatnot as well as you know fan art because obviously you know um, if you can't you know for example find a magazine or whatever to clip this um, then it's really difficult and usually we didn't use too many of these actual kind of photograph pictures in the old day is because um, a lot of times you had to actually go and photocopy the picture out of the magazine and then we'd have to cut it out and paste it onto the page, right? And then we have to photocopy it again. So we're already doing two generations of photocopies and just like VHS tapes, the more times you try to photocopy the photocopy of a photocopy each time, the, 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 you know, the picture will look worse and worse, right? So that's why generally speaking, we don't do too many picture pictures. We do more line drawings, okay? But again, this is modern te technology uh, with desktop publishing. You know, you don't lose any quality by using JPEGs and that kind of stuff. So that's always good. Uh, okay, so we have a review. That's always good, yeah. Like a wind come to, uh, called Amnesia. So obviously, in the modern day, we don't need a translation or a summary of things like uh, wind, uh, wind, come, uh, wind named Amnesia because it's already subtitled or dubbed. Um, and, and or you could also find out, um, you know, that kind of information or the video online nowadays. So um, what's more important now is, well, you know, this title called Wind uh, Named Amnesia, is it any good, right? What's it really about? Like, you know, would I be interested in this kind of anime? And so by providing uh, a review, uh, members can then go, okay, well, you know, this person seems to, you know, highly recommend it. 
um, you know, as you know, gave it a pretty good review. Told me some pretty good points I should check out. Um, you know, he gave it a seven out of ten. So hey, you know, it might be something you might want to check out. You know, when you come to Niger. So again, that's a very good part of the the the, uh, the, the magazine here. Uh, and then we have the uh, I guess this is from the San Diego part of the uh, the club. And again, um, lots of uh, it lists all the various different uh, members, and they gave them different ranks and that kind of stuff, and different sort of administration, which is you know really pretty cool. Um, you know to, to actually you know sign people uh, titles and that kind of stuff uh, and whatnot uh, based on their um, you know membership. Uh, they also gave all these. Uh, oh, okay. They also gave um, yeah, you know, like insignias and that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, this is very very reminiscent of uh, of uh, you know the role playing game for uh, Robotech. Uh, where they made uh, you know uh, different um, sections for like the different parts of uh, the role playing and the different parts of the military. So again, these are different sort of um, symbols and that kind of stuff for for for, for uh, uh, you know for squadrons and and different things like that. Uh, you know, because again, for Robotech, you know, they had the you know Vermilion Squadron, they had Skull Squadron, which is you know very popular for Rick Hunter and that kind of stuff and and whatnot. So that, that was really nice. Uh, and they also have a oh, okay a fictional timeline Terran timeline for the United Space Force. So again, uh, uh, gives you an idea of the you know sort of like the where things fit into the timeline for the STF one. So that's always kind of nice. Nice, nice you know, yeah, very popular uh, um, uh, min made picture there. That's uh, always good. And then uh, oh, okay, so basically uh, some more suggestions and a review. You know, kind of uh, uh, so in light of having a review, which is like a full fledged. Um, there are these, uh, uh, you know, suggested viewing things for you know topics. So obviously, th in this particular one, they 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 decided to take the genre of comedies, okay, and then they listed a whole bunch of different, various different comedies. So they've got things like Ranma, Golden Boy, very good choice. Uh, you know, uh, GTO, another really good choice. Kenjin, I don't know if that's exactly a comedy, but okay, all right, uh, I'll, I'll I'll take that, sure, you know, in a little bit. <laughs> Um, Dragon Half, yeah, that, you know, that's funny, yeah. Dragon Half and Kakuro Nuku Nuku is always really, really popular. Elazard, oh, yeah, okay, I, I, I would have probably called that an isekai, but that's all right, sure. Uh, Slayers, yep, definitely that's, um, more comedy than RPG, that's for sure. That, yeah. Otaku no Video, very good. Lupin the Third, the TV series, mm, I guess if you call City Hunter uh, a, a comedy instead of a, uh, you know, an action drama or police, uh, you know, kind of thing, sure. Sayuki, interesting choice. I wouldn't have called that a comedy, but all right. Ghost Files, definitely. Dirty Pair, mm, okay. Uh, you know, I could go either way with that one, yeah. Captain Tyler, interesting choice. Same thing with Nadeshko, interesting choice. Um, I wouldn't say it's as comical as a as a, as it would be sci-fi, uh, you know, type of thing. But sure, I might have thrown. Well, yeah, I'm. Then I would have maybe you know thrown Van Dredd in there as well, right? You know, would that count? Lost Universe, okay, maybe. All right, sure. Trigon. Yeah, you know, you, you can see what I mean, right? Because the beginning part of the series is really, you know, you can see where the comedy comes from, but when you know, when uh, Vash gets in, in, into the you know conflict with his brother. Then you can kind of go, okay, mm, I wouldn't know, okay, that's, <laughs> so, yeah, sure. And that's always good, because it's always good to have, you know, um, you know, uh, you know uh, differences of opinions and that kind of stuff, because, it's a, uh, you know, these classifications are really, really broad. But definitely, you know, the point of the, of giving ideas for people to watch is really, is, is really good. Um, you know, you know, uh, it's, uh, you know. To continue on do with different uh, maybe different genres and that because of uh, as, as it goes that, no, that would be very useful suggested soundtracks the so same thing uh, different uh, uh, you know obviously someone's uh, you know who who's uh, gonna recommend different songs and that kind of stuff to people because they're really really good um, you know uh, the, or different songs as well as CDs uh, this is a very good idea so they wrote down theater private eyes the movie yes uh yeah i i mean i i definitely like a lot of the the, the opening theme songs for, for city enter and uh the D dramatic masters was one of the is one of the best uh, d double cd sets for city enter so definitely mobile suit gundam thunderbolt the oeva 2015 uh okay sure yeah i mean definitely you know you know uh 
the best music does come out of usually the OHVAs. Uh, you know, MSO8 theme usually comes to mind right away. 080, 083, definitely right in there. Sure, certainly. Yeah, I would I, I definitely agree. Uh, Armitage the third, definitely. That's a nice one. Anything, you know, any of that kind of stuff is really, it was really nice. Uh, My Name is Jotaro. That's a nice lighthearted one. But then again, anything, anything from Joe Hizashi... You know, generally speaking, you can't go too wrong with. I mean, he's, you know, he does a lot of stuff, uh, you know, including Disney stuff and whatnot. But he does, um, you know, do some very nice work with that kind of stuff. And a lot of the CDs that he did at that time is really uh, nice. So, again, yeah, that, that's a good suggestion. And Serial Experiments Lane. Interesting choice, but I only, I, mean, I did like that opening theme song from uh, from Boa. So, that's, yeah, so, yeah, that's... That was a nice one. I, I maybe even ha add in like things like hack sign and and whatnot to uh, in, in that genre too as well for that. So yeah, so definitely good, good solid, um, good, good solid choices there uh, for that. And then yeah, let's go a quick little summary, uh, and then what, what, what your community can you know can, can give you. So it's definitely nice overview for uh, issue number one. Um, so now issue number two, I imagine much the same way. So again the uh, similar type of uh, layout, similar clips, uh, the mecha row in front, table of contents again. So again, uh, you know the, the, the you know notes from the editor. Okay, sure. Um, oh, okay. So I guess uh, you know we have a uh, 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 memorial here for uh, you know a lot. You know th this is always because it always you know by adding in current events and that kind of stuff. Um, then uh, you know th th it uh, it uh, definitely does uh, update people uh, th that aren't aware of things. Um, again, I think in the internet era that th that definitely helps because uh, d d doing the research of that is harder to find. Uh, in, you know, back in the day, uh, again, different things that are happening. Again, links, which always always, always important to repeat. Um, I guess more continuation of the fanfic. That's always good. I you know it's always good to have more sort of information to that. Uh, oh, yeah, fan art there. Um, more and um, say Down syndrome. So these are more anime reviews. Uh, so he, we were reviewing the Project Echo nine out of ten. That's good. Seven out of ten for uh, Echo two. Uh, six out of ten for Echo three. Yeah, I'd probably agree. Yeah, because that one's probably like the worst out of all the Project Echoes. Well, I I I think. All the project echoes going forward get worse and worse as as, as they go on, right? But uh, yeah, um, the only redeeming factor about Project Echo Three is it probably has a fairly good musical track to it. Um, project Echo Four, okay, picks up and and you give it seven out of ten, okay. Uh, crossword puzzle, th those are always good because it, it tests your trivia and that kind of stuff. Um, back in the day, th you know, those are you know fun things you know to do. Um, uh, okay, so they uh, um, they are I guess they're extending more of the um, uh, the the, the f flight symbols and the squadron leader kind of things. Uh, so they I guess they carried that over from from issue one. So they've added now more um, designs and that kind of stuff, uh, which is good. Again, you know, it's not a type of fan art. Um, you know, again, when we did the, the you know, the, the things like the, uh, role-playing game for Robotech, uh, you know, a lot of that came up, okay. Um, and yeah, so they added more for the timeline for the, uh, uh, the UN Space Force, um, so basically, uh, you know, the, the timeline for the, uh, you know, for the Robotech, uh, Macross series, uh, they kind of, I guess, added more to it here, so that's, that's always good, you know, it's good to keep, you know, I guess if you start in the first issue, then you just continue on with the next issue. That's always good. All right, but Cat, uh, so it's more fan art. This guy, this Mike Howard here is actually really, really good. You know, I'm just looking at the two pictures that that, that he's done so far for Macross, and, you know, he's followed the example really, really well. You know, the way that, the, 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 you know, that he puts the, uh, the, the, the segmentation in the eyes, uh, you know the the the, the, the you know the, the the lines and the strokes that he does in the hair, the roughness that he does in the uniform, you know, very very Mickey Moto like. So he's, he's done a really good job on that. Uh, and then okay, so manga reviews. So now this is something new. Obviously, you know, uh, again, instead of 
in our day, we, since we did, uh, you know, we would concentrate more on the translation of the manga, or at least summary of the manga, because again, translations weren't available. So again, uh, the, you know, your fans would be um, looking for that, uh, you know, information. Uh, now, obviously, with the internet and you know, the Mermaid Saga has already been translated. You know, we don't need to do that anymore. But to have a review. Um, you know, to tell people, hey, check out this Rumoko Takahashi manga called, uh, you know, Mermaid, you know, Mermaid Saga. So that's a uh, Mermaid's Forest, Mermaid's, uh, you know, Mermaid Scar, that kind of stuff. Um, do check this out, right? So, so this was um, a good way to, you know, to, for you to kind of look at that. Okay. Um, member profile. Okay, so again, I guess they are now going to interview another member. Okay. So, uh, so that's always good, you know, that lets you introduce, uh, you know, the other members to, uh, you know, who, who all these people are. Okay. That's always good. You can learn more, uh, especially when you, you know, you, when you, I guess, meet up with them, uh, uh during the club, uh, discord, uh, viewings and that kind of stuff. So, or if they ever do a, you know, a convention or whatever, where they actually meet, you know, then, then you'll know who you're talking to. Uh, Japanese music. Okay. So a, a different person, um, uh, has given uh, some different uh, musical things, right? And uh, a little brief little history. They recommend Yoko Kano, of course, you know, Michael Fuss, Cowboy Bebop, definitely. Uh, Joe Zashi, as I commended, you know, lots of good stuff from that. Larkin CL, yes, you know, you know, um, definitely, you know, you know the, um, you know, GTO, uh, Rony Kenshin, of course, yes, yes, mm -hmm, definitely. Um, the pillows, which is the FLCL. Okay, guys. Yep, sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, because of the plastic love thing that that, that happened on the, uh, that. I mean, you know, that's a relatively recent movement. And yeah, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Tatsu Yamashita. Um, you know, I like how they mentioned that one. You know, personally, I love his Christmas song that he does for um, JR Rail. Um, you know, I, 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 I just can't, sometimes I just can't get enough to, uh, of how much they use that song and, uh, and how meaningful that song is. It's, it's actually very, very nice. I, um, I don't listen too much of his other music, but definitely, you know, just that one song is enough, for, uh, is, is enough for me for that, for that. So that's definitely a good recommendation. Mary Ajima, of course, uh, you know, the Min May voice. Yes. Uh, Ruchi Sakamoto, yeah, of course, you know, yeah, of course, yeah, you know, he does the, you know, he does actually many different um, things, the Oscar winning uh, thing um, with uh, the different sort of uh, uh, movies and that kind of stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah Merry Christmas, uh, Mr. Lawrence, of course, he was the one I, um, in my, uh, if you are uh, on the uh, Patreon, or the, uh, I've made a special episode with different content and that kind of stuff, and one of the things that he won an award for was for uh, no more landmines, and uh, he's he's the uh, uh, creator for that particular piece. So you can definitely go to my subscriber channel to check that out. Um, so recommendations, yes, suggested OVAs. Uh, so again, so these are different OVAs that, uh, are, that that also are suggested. Again, Golden Boy shows up again. That's uh, you know, just like the other one. Record a lot of swords. Definitely check mark Gunsmith Cats, of course. Kichi Sonoda. Assemble insert, which is I always like that one because you know, said you know for those people who are already following Pat Labor and that kind of stuff, uh, you know that that's always a good one to put in there. Bad athletes. That was an unexpected uh, good one from Pioneer. Right, you know, ranks right up there with uh, you know your your, your Tenchis and your um, um, uh, El Hazards, uh, you know, Escaflone, definitely. Dominion Tank Police, yes, of course. Gunbusters, you know, more you know, pick and motor stuff. Mars the Chojin, well, obviously, that's the, uh, you know, the part of the, um, uh, Rumic World series. Cyber City Oedo, Oedo, Oedo. Uh, sure, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Uh, again, that's a, I, I, you know, I, I think that's a personal taste, though, but I'm uh, sure, all right. Armitage III, definitely. Uh, Battle, uh, Battle Angel Alita, that was a really, that one was a, a really a big one for, for, for when the comics and that kind of stuff. Bubble Crisis, of course, very key. Three, three, Sazen Eyes, yeah, which is three by three eyes, yep, definitely. Um, Interstellar 5555, yeah, uh, uh, okay, sure. Um, you know, when I look at these type of things, I tend to be more... Um, you know, more the classical type of guy. I tend to like the Harlocks and that kind of stuff more. Uh, Queen of, you know, uh, Queen Millennia, Queen of Thousand Years, uh, those ones in there. 
Uh, Iria, Zerum, yeah, that, you know, that, I, I like that. DNA Squared is probably my favorite of that particular artist uh, in that respect. Um, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, definitely the uh, like that. the uh, space opera, as a lot of people like that. And, of course, Area 88. Yes, yeah, definitely, um, you know, absolute classic, uh, definitely one there. Um, you, know, but I, you know, after watching these type of things, you know, you get really excited over things like Macross Plus, and you get um, and uh, Yuki Kaze. That's another one that's really you know it was really cool. Those those some shows. Um, suggest anime soundtrack. So this person suggests uh, Crusher Joe. Okay, yeah, I'd have to agree. Yeah, the Crusher was pretty good. Um, Orange Road TV series definitely. Lots of good lots of good music in that one. Uh, Musashi. That's an interesting um, interesting choice. Uh, Vision of Escafloni, definitely. Yoko Kano, of course, that's anything that has, you know, like Cowboy Bebop probably is, is, is uh, the most famous one that a lot of people like to use that one. Um, Kenji Kawai and Pat Labor, yes, definitely a, 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 a good choice there. Um, Lupin III, uh, he's, cool. he's using the uh, 2014 OEVA. Okay, great. An interesting choice, the Humanoid. You know, I scratched my head and going, oh, okay, I don't recall anything that that, that, that that stuck out of my mind from the humanoid, but okay, yeah, that's, I mean, you know, it is a classic OVA, that's for sure. Uh, in that era, of course, I probably would have said Cosmo Police Justy, um, you know, um, uh, Fantastic uh, uh, fantastic Adventure of Yoko, uh, Yoko Leda, um, you know, th those ones, you know, kind of ring more in my mind uh, in terms of of uh, how more popular it was but uh, definitely okay a humanoid sure and uh yes okay uh you know again more uh, advertising for their face uh, face uh, group uh facebook pages and that kind of stuff the answers to the cluster puzzle and again uh yeah editor's note and um a classic uh 1983 um convention um ad very interesting um, because uh, you know I know that you know a lot of times they have you know conventions that kind of stuff going on uh, you know varying in size and that kind of stuff um, but uh, you know it's nice that, that, that back in 1983 they actually had that kind of a convention um, you know because uh, even at this time you know we were struggling to even make an anime club that would have its own convention type of thing. We were still piggybacking off of uh, sci-fi conventions, that kind of stuff. Okay. So, um, so basically, yeah, I'm just gonna go over uh, that uh, these things uh, using the uh, the uh, the prototype three that I have, and just just sort of do a quick comparison. So again, um, uh, emphasis again on uh, on on uh, fan art from basically members and that kind of stuff. So again, the front page here. Um, is drawn by a Mike Jackson, okay, and he puts this, uh, you know, th th you know this uh, th th touch together, okay. So again, uh, David Ng was my editor at this particular time. So a little final note from him: via staff notes, uh, contents, and that kind of stuff as well. Okay, um, here we have a basically uh, a. Um, a review of the Bubblegum Crisis 4 Revenge Road thing, okay, and we have a little bit of story, various different characters, uh, you know, and then literally, um, you know, some dialogue, right, from the thing, you know, right down to the point where it's going, you know, Pris, you know, what a gas gusher, on the note, uh, you know, Pris's head uh, is a Raven's Garage, and report on the Griffin, you know, so it actually, not only does it, does it give you what the dialogue is there's actually you know little points and things that you know to 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 note um, and pay attention to as you you know go on there and again you notice that you know instead of using um, captured drawings like this one where we have to you know because I warned you about you know if we have to make a photocopy of a photocopy uh, it really degrades the image so the, you know you can see that I've stuck to using stand uh, you know more um, line drawings again again it's just because desktop publishing on a computer uh, you know, doesn't degrade quality. Where uh, here, where you're using the old clip, uh, cut and paste by newsletter, uh, newspaper design, uh, you know, obviously it makes a big difference. So again, a couple, uh, you know, pages upon pages 
uh, of how um, you know that gives you the translation for all of Bubble and Crisis Four. Okay. Uh, the next one here is uh, Vampire Princess Mew. Okay, uh, a translation from uh, again Daisuke. Okay, and uh, yeah, so you know again right down to the line by line. Uh, you know. Multiple pages, episode one, episode two, uh, you know, and it goes on describing things all the way up to episode four. Even. Oh, okay, uh, ads. Okay, so this is for the uh, for the, our old classic uh, Sophia's bookstore that we used to have. Um, and, you know, with location and that kind of stuff. You know, so they were you know, one of our sponsors that that, that helped uh, you know give discounts um, to uh, club members. Uh, so yeah, so if you, you know, brought in your membership card for the Vancouver Japanese Animation Club, they give you 10% off of their books and that kind of stuff. And again, um, you know, a lot of people would go down there to buy, you know, to buy their art books or magazines and that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so, so that really helped out. Um, I have an article of, uh, about Anime 3D from uh, a, a teacher, actually. Uh, his name is Stan Hyde, and uh, he was really big on Godzilla's and uh, you know Ultraman, uh, Kamen Rider, and all those uh, you know basically um, you know guys in rubber suits with the motorcycles, um, Godzilla of course. And so he writes a different article about uh, you know different stores and that kind of stuff, and uh, and you know how to actually do anime uh, figurines. And this is like not just you know pieces that snap together and, and, and like, you know, like gun, you know, Gundams or you know, Gunpla, right? This is actually, you know, s you know, sanding and cutting things to the right fit and putting, you know, uh, sticking in pins and that kind of stuff into into arm joints and that kind of stuff to, to you know, to, 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 to pin the elbow and that kind of stuff. So, again, in this sort of application, you know, in order to join, let's say, the wrist together, you actually have to, 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 to put a, uh, a pin into it, right? So you have to mark out the you know the the, the two ends of the like so so for example the the wrist part and the arm part you would actually have to put a pin into each part right so that when you put them together the pin would sit across here um, you know in, in order to, to 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 keep it together so that's basically gives you instructions on how to do that so it's, it's a pretty you know detailed process again you know in the modern day we have YouTube videos which will tell you how to do this but you know you know in our days you know we don't have that so you actually have to physically lay it out and physically explain it to people on how it's supposed to be done okay uh, the next one we have uh, a, a, a thing for Madox 01 okay and it's a translation and uh, and uh, editing done by uh, Sheldon Yip and a uh, David Ng and again you know uh, you know with dialogue and uh, you know story and that kind of stuff, uh, specs and, uh, and 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 whatnot for the different um, mechs and that kind of stuff there. Um, okay, standard uh, you know join us uh, you know membership form so that you can people can mail in, mail in things. Uh, next issue, of course, you know what 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 we might possibly do. And again, notice. Line drawings, okay. No actual, uh, you, know, you know, JPEG or you know, GIF kind of pictures, right? It's actual line drawings, okay. Um, we have a new fan art. Okay, so instead of fan fiction, we have a fan article called the Fan Encyclopedia, um, which is always kind of fun. Um, it's Daisuke's idea, and um, and his idea was basically come up with funny definitions for words, okay. So uh, he gives you an example here. Um, says the standard for choosing submissions will will be simple. Any straightforward entries will be dumped. For example, the uh, the GM. So like you know the from Gundam, like the standard uh, GM Mecha, if you uh, a loser. <laughs> okay. So if you if you put a if you put a definition uh, uh, for a GM and all you said that the definition was is a loser, then we'll probably reject the definition. But if the entry were be were to be more of the following examples, then I might be consider it more favorably. And he goes, the GM, born to be a loser. The GM two, same as the GM one. The GM three, a definite loser. The GM sniper, out of the question. Uh, the Nemo. Okay, so that's the you know the the cluster version. Did somewhat better than its relative. 
but still a loser. <laughs> okay? So that kind of content is, is what he's got here. And he's got some pretty cool stuff written down um, here. So, so he goes over some different um, um, animes and that kind of stuff. Uh, he writes uh, some, some funny ones for Bubble Crisis, uh, Golf Force, Gundam, uh, you know, uh, even some uh, so, some uh, funny stories about the, the the animation club under the category of random and a half. Okay, for the series random and a half, uh, the definition for Transformers says just think about it: uh, them falling into any spring. And they'd be like Autobots transform, and then all you do is just splash water on them, and then they would transform. Right. <laughs> so anyway. I like one that he writes down the bottom here for uh, Saint Seiya. He goes, and he writes down uh, Seiya, the Pegasus, and goes, if he ends up using, he as in Seiya, uh, using the Sagittarius clothes after all, because that's remember if you, you know, if you remember the story, he, you know they're in a competition to get the Sagittarius armor. Well, if he wins the armor and he ends up using it later in the series, well, why the heck did he not use it from the beginning, right? So it's it's the it's the Power Rangers idea, right? You know, it's the you know here are the you know the, the the Power Rangers like as like you know regular kids, okay? And you know they, you know they get attacked by the enemy and that kind of stuff. And here they are, they're trying to fight the you know the 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 you know the the, the henchmen, the evil henchmen, you know, as kids instead of going well. What the hell I'm doing here? Why don't I? Why don't I do the Power Rangers change up and fight them as Power Rangers rather than as kids, right? And then of course the subject with the thing is is that well, you know, then you know the enemy or whatever you know, you know summons the big uh, guy that you know combines the many pieces and that kind of stuff, and it's like, okay, yeah, we're gonna try to fight this thing as you know Power Rangers, right? And it's like. Well, gee, guys, don't you have that big giant robot that combines into multiple pieces? Why don't you just call that first before you start trying to fight the guys? It's the same thing that happens in that show. And again, it's plot. We understand. And that's how the episodes are made. But, you know, they sometimes don't follow the logic, right? So that's that's just an interesting point that someone always, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, whatever. So that's... Uh, um... Another interesting thing about Saint Seiya here, he goes, Saint Seiya, a tragedy of five boys who are seduced by a spoiled girl. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's all right. I mean, as much as that sounds really crass, but that's, that's pretty true. Yeah, okay, I, I, you can see that. Uh, uh, next, comedy writes, a story consisting of borrowed equipment. <laughs> Which is, you know, you know, technically, none of those guys actually, you know, um, were assigned or put, put, the, you know, put with their armors, of course, you know, so. Um, and then, of course, a more, more extension of the first one, Saint Seiya, Saroi, the, the, or, or Athena, the cause of all the misery of, for the five unfortunate boys. <laughs> Which is true, like, you know, you can just kind of, even in the beginning when you, when they tell the story of Saint Seiya, you can, you, you can tell she's like, uh, you know, just, just torturing those kids. Okay, so that just summarizes, uh, you know, what that what we had in in the old copy. So you can see, um, you know, this new uh, Genesis Pit that, that that has coming out, you know, has a lot of the same kind of concepts and things that the old classic uh, newsletters used to have. Again, it's uh, it's been updated so that the material is more obviously modern because obviously you don't need to have you know line for line scripts like like we used to do in the old days. And obviously, you know, with the new you know, updates for, uh, you know, desktop publishing, you can actually use better graphics and better, uh, uh, you know, pictures and that kind of stuff and better layout. So it's easier to, you know, to, to, to format and to use different fonts and that kind of stuff. You can tell, you know, when we had to do this stuff, we pretty much had to handwrite and hand script all these things where on, on the new versions, you can typeset them properly, have them, you know, properly laid out and, and flushed and that kind of stuff. So they actually fit on the page properly. Uh, center justified you know, text and that kind of stuff here, um, you know, and actual graphical pictures and that kind of stuff. Like that. So again, very nice sort of thing. Again, uh, if you want to do check them out, they do have a um, a, a Facebook page as well as uh, all the various different uh, um, you know, usual um, social media things as well as their Discord and whatnot. So definitely do check them out. Uh, the the Super Dimensional Anime Club. Okay, 
as well as the SDAC, which is, just, I guess, the San Diego Anime Club uh, 01B Genesis. All right? So good job, guys. Uh, keep it up. And, uh, again, if you want to support them, do uh, send them a letter to, to tell them that you like what you saw. Uh, again, if you like this video, put a like down below as well, too. All right? Okay. So you hope they find that very interesting, and uh, basically you can you know uh, see uh, some of the new things that are going on, and some of the ways that uh, some people have been sort of uh, you know sort of revitalizing and trying to you know to bring back some of the things that we used to have in the past. That's uh, you know part of the why, why you know, for example, this channel here is trying to uh, you know get, tell people and show people that uh, you know these things were um, you know done in a certain way. Um, you know, how we used to live things and how we used to experience things. And it's just great that uh, people have tried to bring in some of that kind of uh, feeling and that sort of, uh, um, you know, sort of uh, publishing magic, if you will, uh, back. And uh, so that uh, modern people can also experience that same sort of thing. All right. So I'm going to have some more content coming up. And again, uh, you know, we're quickly approaching episode 300. So uh, we're getting, I'm getting, I'm already uh, sort of uh, queuing up and getting ready for the next uh, anime giveaway, and uh, you know that's another way that uh, you know you can uh, give, uh, basically see and feel um, uh, some of the things that you would uh, get and feel like uh, you know back in the past when we used to have to hand mail stuff together and actually you know get in our information from these actual uh, you know pieces of merchandise and whatnot. Okay, so. Until next time, I will see you again.